yung African lovebird has become a very profitable uh, investment. Um, you don't need a big capital. For me, I will always recommend that you start from from the bottom. So try to learn first. Ano ba yung papano ba yung alagaan, and then learn learn the the the, the tricks of the, the the business. Space requirement. It's again maliit. You know, you don't need a big space to. To, to house yung, yung um, African numbers. Standard breeding cage is 17 inches by 17 inches by 30 inches. So, maliit lang siya. These are um, steel uh, wire fence, um, uh, wire uh, cages. Pinagdikit-dikit lang namin, inayos lang namin sa tsyawe na madali silang dinisin. It will not occupy a big space. Kami nilalabas namin kasi yung aming, um, aming mga nest box. The normal practice ng mga ibang breeders is yung nest box nasa loob. Yung sa amin is we try to um, put the nest box sa labas. So in that manner, mas merong space na pagliliparan yung mga ibon. Aside from that, you have the perch, and then of course, meron din kaming uh, yung mga feed throw, and then the water throw. So, ito yung mga mo most important things that are uh, part of the uh, building field. You need to have sunlight. Sunlight is very important. Kung wala kang exposure, kung wala siyang, kung wala siyang source ng, ng, ng UV, yung sunlight, hindi talaga siya magbibreed. Magbibreed siya but it will take a longer time. But kung merong may exposure dun sa sunlight, mas maganda siya. We initially give them uh, chopped na pechay, chopped na carrots, and uh, hard-boiled eggs. A few lang. Yung, yung one, one uh, uh, hard-boiled egg will be good for about easily siguro mga 30 to 40 pairs. So we give that initially in the morning at 5 o'clock, after 30 minutes to an hour, we pull that out and then uh, 